Hi, this is Malcolm Groves. This is part two of a series of videos that I'm doing on the Version Insight technologies inside RAD Studio XE. Now that we've seen how to add a project to a repository for the first time and start doing check-ins and start interacting with it, um, probably the, the, the next most obvious thing to look at is how to pull a project from a repository um, for the first time. Now what you need to do that is the URL of the, um, the project inside the, the, the repository. Now this works basically the same way whether it's a local repository or one out on the internet. Um, in the example I'm going to show one out on the internet just uh, to uh, make it a little different. Um, so what I've done is I've done a search for the Delphi Spring framework which is an open source um, uh, dependency injection container for Delphi. Um, it's hosted as you can see up on code.google.com um, but the steps that I'm about to go through are the same whether it's SourceForge or, or your own subversion repository or whatever. Basically what we need is we need that URL and in this case here it is here um, uh, the HTTP URL so if I copy that and come back over to Delphi, what I want to do is say file open from version control. This lets me specify that URL of the repository. I need to give it a local destination that I want it to check those files out to. Um, I think I've got a directory set up called Delphi Spring Test. There it is. Uh, I could also specify a particular revision that I wanted. If, if uh, I didn't want the latest one but I'll just say give me the current revision and say OK. Um, now this is going out across the internet so there might be a little bit of uh, a pause while it gets started uh, to code.google.com it's grabbing all of the files and directory structure out of subversion and recreating that locally under that directory that I specified. Once it's dragged all of these down, it's then going to look through all of the stuff it's just downloaded um, to find any projects and project groups inside that. And then, as you can see, pop up a dialogue asking me which of these projects or project groups I want to open inside the IDE. So in this case, I'll open this one, this project group, and say OK. Uh, you can see it's opened up inside the IDE. If I dismiss that dialogue, I can now start interacting with um, these projects um, in exactly the same way I did before with the local project. I can browse the repository, I can uh, look at the log, uh, that sort of thing. But let me drill down uh, spring.base, let me go down in here, find something useful. Let's go down to uh, this one, spring.paz, that looks like a good um, candidate for being one of the main files. Uh, so if I bring that one up, um, all of the tools that I was playing with before uh, are available, including the history view. Now it'll take a second when you flip across to it for the first time because it's got to go out to uh, back out to Google's ser uh, subversion servers and drag down all of the um, uh, revision information. Uh, here it is. Uh, it's come down. So you can see here we can um, look through all of the whole bunch of the uh, previous revisions, uh, do diffs between them. So for example, let's have a look at what was different between 259 and 239. Again, there might be an initial pause while it drags some of this information down. Um, but all of those same productivity tools that we had for our local, um, uh, our local um, uh, repository are available for this public repository.